everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Camarda if you're new, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black. Yes, I got the Pro Max. I'm back to the Pro Max family. If you're new, I do iPhone unboxings every year. Last year, I picked the pink iPhone 13, which is so cute, but sadly, I will be trading it in. But enough of the nonsense, let's talk about the phone. This is first of all beautiful but this is the iphone 14 pro max i got the space black color which is apparently supposed to be more black than the graphite that they have been making and i got the 256 gig model which by the way if you're getting the pro max or any of the pro phones you should get 256 gig or up because those are the ones that have the 4k resolution video that's just a heads up but anyway let's just get to the fun part and shut up so <laughs> Here's what the box looks like, and I'm not gonna lie, this isn't even my phone, this is my husband's phone. He got his phone today on launch day, I'm picking mine up in a few days, so I'm unboxing his today. He has blessed us for iPhone season. The box is no longer black, the Pro models used to come in a black box, but they switched it back to white this year, which is an interesting change. We have two peel things on the back. Are we ready? <laughs> I don't think I'm ready, honestly, but we're here, so let's do it. <laughs> here we go. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful. The first look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The black is definitely more black than the graphite. It's still a silver, but it's definitely a deeper silver. It's more of a black. So I appreciate that they made the color darker because I personally love black phones, so this is just beautiful. The cameras are huge. Here is a closer look at the cameras. It's so beautiful. Okay, so let's take it out. Okay, this is heavy. I'm not used to having a Max. It's been a year since I've had one, and this is heavy, let me tell you. Let's peel off this thing. And here it is. This is beautiful. Wow, okay, so I already see the cutouts through the screen for where the dynamic island is going to be. That is like the biggest feature of the phones this year is this island. So we're gonna talk about that later. You can kind of see it. If I put it close to the camera, you can kind of see the cutouts. You see how it's two cutouts? and they use software to make it look like one smooth pill. The speaker at the top is really tiny. I don't know if you could see that, it's like right here. It's a super tiny speaker right there. The sides are very sleek, dark silver. Oh, this is so pretty, I can't. I missed having a Black Pro Max so bad. The way that the sides shine and then the back, like I need to step out of the frame. We need to just admire this. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, let's turn it on. Turning on, hello. We are in, wait, okay. This is the dynamic island in the flesh. Look at it. This is way better than the notch. Already in person, it feels like lighter on the screen. It doesn't feel like there's this black thing taking up a lot of room. Let's just go into the phone. I'm too much like, I'm talking too much. I'm just excited. <gasps> okay, so something I'm also noticing right away these Pro phones have an 120 hertz display, which if you don't really know what that means, the animations on the screen are way more smooth than on the regular iPhone models. So when you scroll, it's very fluid. Like, can you see how smooth that animation is? That is something I noticed right away the second this phone turned on. This is clean. Okay, so let's set it up. So we're gonna select English, select your country, United States. So we're gonna set this up manually because this is not my phone, <laughs> this is my man's phone. So I'm not gonna put my Apple ID, so I'm just gonna do set up manually. We both like to set up our phones just fresh, so I'm just gonna not transfer anything. This phone is so pretty. Like honestly, I feel like myself again. <laughs> 
<laughs> like this is the phone I meant to have. And now we are in welcome to iPhone everybody. Here is the home screen when you get your new iPhone. So right now the dynamic island is just chilling up there. Nothing is okay. Just did a little sensor, but it's not doing anything. So I think that the first thing we should test is the dynamic island because I want to see what's the vibes. Like, is it good? What kind of features does it have? Let's test it out. I think one of the first things that I'm going to do is set a timer. So there's the timer. Now if I swipe out of it, it goes up to the dynamic island. Wow. <laughs> I'm like shocked that it worked. It's really like more crispy. I don't know if that makes sense, but the animation and the look of the island is like smaller and more like crispy and refined looking than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be like kind of chunky, but it's really super out of the way. It really does look alive. I feel like this dynamic island really is... Okay, let's not. That is like a triggering sound. The island is really cool. Before we continue this, I'm going to unbox the case and put the case on this because I don't want to mess this phone up. If you are an OG on this channel, you know that I always got the black apple silicone case and nothing has changed. This is the best case you can get for your phone. I literally got this one for my iPhone 13 and have not taken it off for the whole year and it still looks great. So these are amazing. I highly recommend. So let's unbox it. And here it is. The beautiful, classic apple silicone case. These are just so good. And they smell good when you first get them. Mmm, it smells like a bookstore. It smells delicious. Who says that? It smells delicious about a phone case. Oh, and, okay, so this is a good test. This is the always-on display. It is showing the time in more of a dimmed manner. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the screen is dim, where you can just see the time. So if I go like this, Here's the phone unlocking, and now you can see that the screen is fully on. So it never actually goes black. Now you can always see what time it is and what notifications you have at a glance, which is really useful. So I like that a lot. And when the phone is locked, there is now a tiny little lock in the dynamic island. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's put the case on. Here's what it looks like. It is just a sleek black. It's a little more black actually than the previous silicone cases, which I love. It's more of like a cool tone deep black, which is amazing. And that's the animation that plays when you put the MagSafe silicone cases on these phones, which is just really extra. Apple did not have to do that, but they did. And here's what the case looks like on the phone. It looks great, and I love the coronavirus notification at the bottom. That's just perfect. This is so nice. Like, I honestly love this. Like, I'm so happy I got this phone. I'm acting like it's my phone, but it basically is. <laughs> I love this phone. So I think another thing that we should test is the camera because Apple loves to talk about how the camera is so much better and specifically the front camera because now it has autofocus which is actually amazing. If you're someone looking to like start making YouTube videos and things like that, this is a great way to start without having to buy a camera. So let's test it out. Okay, update. So I did a test of the front camera because it's supposed to have autofocus which is a new feature and I am not exaggerating when I say the iPhone 14 Pro Max front camera destroyed the 13 like just look at this you can see every little speckle on my skin versus the 13 it wouldn't even focus that close like I tried to get it to focus and it would just be blurry the front camera is way better this is like game-changing also life hack change your aspect ratio to 16 by 9 down here to get full screen images also yes this is my camera setup <laughs> it's really nice for Instagram stories I never use the 4x3 so yeah I'm gonna have to play with the settings of the camera though because you have to make sure your camera is set to take video in 4k because it does take up more storage on your phone so that is something to think about um, if you're gonna be taking a lot of high quality videos you should probably go with the higher storage oh my god I forgot to open the rest of the box 
but who cares? There's nothing in it. We have a charging cable, which is nice, but you know, everybody has these. And I was surprised because they still haven't switched to USB-C, so we're still doing lightning. And then they also give you like a little instruction just to say welcome to your new iPhone. Thank you for giving us more money because we're so rich. <laughs> oh, and there's a thing in here that says you no longer need a physical SIM card. So now these phones have the eSIM, so it doesn't come with a SIM card slot, which is actually kind of crazy. Apple's just getting rid of everything. So as I mentioned, I got the iPhone 13 last year. I was just trying to switch it up. It's a really cute phone. The size is so comfortable. So if you are watching this video, trying to decide like, should I get the normal size or should I get the max? It's really up to you, which is kind of like a non-answer, but I got the Pro Max because I do a lot of work on my phone. I do pretty much everything through my phone. So having the bigger screen makes a great experience because I'm on it all the time doing a ton of different things. Plus, I really missed having a really good camera. The Pro iPhone cameras are like unmatched. The regular iPhone line cameras are great. They're definitely really good, but I love the Pro cameras. So I'm so happy to have that again. I Think it's amazing but size wise it's really up to you with the regular pro iphones it'll fit in your pocket it'll fit in your bag it'll fit in the crack in your car and fall down and you're gonna have to put your arm down and grab it with the max it's a little harder to lose it but there's also nowhere to put it <laughs> The Pro is so comfortable, it's light, it fits everywhere, it's easy to transport. But the Max, the screen experience to me is worth it being a little heavier and more chunky and not fitting anywhere. Because honestly, I just want a really good phone and that's why I love the Pro Max models because if you go into Apple and say, give me your best iPhone, they will hand you this. This is the best iPhone that Apple sells, it is the best that they make. It is so good, it is all specked out, and it is just beautiful. Maybe I'm super extra, but I love having the best of the best, <laughs> and I really love the Pro Max. The Pro Max gives you the best phone experience, and it's really not that uncomfortable. Like, it is heavy, it is big, but it's old news. Like, we've known this for years, so honestly, you just have to accept it. And I really love this phone, and I'm so happy to be back with the Pro Max. I feel like I'm back together with like a long lost friend or something. Like, it just feels like the stars are aligned. I hope that helped you. <laughs> I'm gonna put them side by side just so you could see the size difference. As you can see, the Pro Max is a lot bigger. For example, this I could hold in my hand and it's comfortable and it looks correct. Like this looks like a phone, you know what I'm saying? But this one, it's big. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely big, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So it's really, again, up to you. The Max just gives you more room. Do you see how on the Max you get way more content. Look at the text on these two phones and you see how it's just like bigger. It feels like zoomed out, like you can see more. This phone just feels a little crowded on the screen, but it is very comfortable, like it's super cute. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is iOS 16 very quickly. So yes, this has just come out with the release of the new iPhone 14s, and you can download it on your phone even if you don't have the 14. It supports older iPhone models as well. One of the best parts of iOS 16 is actually the widgets and the lock screen. You can do a very cool custom lock screen. So when I go into edit, I can click this and I can add a bunch of widgets, which is so cool, right to the home screen. So you can see what you have going on. You can see the weather. You can set a clock or a timer and it's right there on the lock screen, which is so cool. And you can also edit the style of the time, which is very cool. You can do different colors and different fonts. So I could do something like this and do purple if I wanted to, which is very cool. <laughs> so that was my unboxing. I hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching. I love iPhone season. It is the best time of year. I get so excited for no reason. <laughs> 
Also, if you want to keep talking about iPhones and Apple and related stuff, I do have a Discord if you want to join. It's called iBaddy. I will put the link in the description. I'm happy to be back on my CEO vibes. And I think Apple did an amazing job. So I will see you guys very soon. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you had fun. And happy iPhone season. Bye! <laughs>